now i know that my channel mostly consists of fighting games and rpgs but this particular title right here is something that just cannot be ignored it looks simply gorgeous and i just have to pick the game up myself so expect more details on this game to be covered here on this channel so what am i talking about i'm talking about project eve or the new title name stellar blade so before we dive into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to be notified for more video game news and updates so let us dive right into it now let's just say this three years ago when this game was first announced it was considered or it was named project eve and it's also uh, developed by a korean based studio now a lot of korean games don't really feature much on consoles here in the united states so it's really nice to see that you know we're getting some more korean games and we also getting some chinese developed games too which i'm also looking forward to hit um, these consoles as well you know add some variety in there so we not only have japanese developed games we certainly have other um eastern type developers working on these type of games now when project eve was first announced they announced that the game was going to be coming to all platforms and it's sad to say now that we have the state of play trailer and the official name stellar blade um, is officially going to be a ps5 exclusive which is a bummer you know even though i have all of the consoles i think it sucks um, most people was looking forward to it especially when he first announced it three years ago and now you know people are pretty much bummed out that they won't be able to experience it since it's only going to be a ps5 exclusive which is which is why i hate third party exclusive um deals because everybody misses out on something you know and it really really does sucks well anyway when the trailer was first announced three years ago i had no idea what the hell this could possibly be because first of all the visuals look stunning it's like they going all out with this game now this is definitely a true next gen experience right here i'm talking about as far as visuals and everything there's no way in the world no way in the world you will be able to run this game at full capacity on the ps4 or even the xbox one itself only next gen technology and pc will be able to run this the way it's intended to run and we're starting to see the the effects of how we are now starting to embrace um next gen and we're starting to pretty much let go that last generation which is the ps4 and the xbox one we are now stepping into it because we're starting to see perfect examples of what these consoles can potentially do i think the thing that really got me as far as this game is concerned is that even they went all out with the jiggle physics with this and this is something that you know now that we in this current climate of video games right now you know in, in the societal aspect of how they portray female characters and how they look and everything like that it's like they are unapologetic about their female protagonist protagonists which is a good thing like she was, she's not only a badass she's a well-designed looking character easy on the eyes and everything like that that's pretty dope but the thing that really got me about it was when they first revealed this i thought we was possibly getting another nair game because it does have that nair vibe to it and i love nair automata still one of my favorite um, action rpgs of of the generation i really enjoy that so to actually hear the music in this game to see the visuals i'm like is this another nair but no we pretty much get this new female protagonist and a futuristic cybernetic sci-fi type of universe and i'm like okay i'm on board with this so at the state of play we officially get some actual gameplay um of how this game's actually going to play um what the combat is going to be like and it's really 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 dope man it got that cross between like i said near automata devil may cry and other action rpgs or other action games um that you everybody knows and loves and i'm all for it and the fact is that we also get some details on what the story is actually about so what we have here is that the protagonist's name is eve eve lands on the surface of an uninhabitable earth to reclaim its hostile environs for humanity they meet with a survivor named adam now when i heard her name is eve i said maybe it's, it's going to have this adam and eve or you know some type of biblical undertones or metaphors um behind it and it looks like that's what it's going to be 
said they meet with a survivor named Adam and go to the last surviving city on the planet Zion. She forms relationship with her comrades as they struggle to rebuild the city and retake the planet from an alien species called the Natives. Players will be able to make decisions about how or whether to help the survivors, which in turn will influence the story. Now, I didn't know that. So we're actually going to get some some actual like uh, player um, impact when it comes to this, depending on our decisions and everything. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. And it said the gameplay is actually a uh, character action gameplay of Stellar Blade pits Eve against massive bosses, challenging players to input precise timing to deflect attacks and carry devastating combos. Eve can use a combination of melee and ranged weapons, and her beta skills and burst skills will help even the odds against powerful foes. So from the looks of it, I think this game is going to be quite challenging. And you guys already know my history with action games. Um, I'm not really good at them. So I think it's going to be kind of like funny because I will be streaming the game when the game launches as well. So you guys can see me play. I'm not really good at action games, so I know I'm going to get my ass handed to in this. But for the simple fact is that this game looks gorgeous. The storyline looks interesting. And that alone really, really caught my attention. And I'm willing to give um, this game a try. It really, really looks really cool. Um, I really wanted to get it on the Xbox. I really did want to get it on the Xbox, but now it's a PS5 exclusive, which means I definitely want to pick it up on the PS5 um, for this game. But I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this. Um, Stellar Blade, are you looking forward to this game? There's not many um, Korean developers that release games here in the States. So it's really nice to see a change of pace here for Stellar Blade and the, the character designer. And I knew it, this, it, the design of this character is familiar. The artist is, is Huang uh, Tae Kim. Um, also, the, he's also the, or, uh, also the character designer for Magna Carta and Blade and Soul. And Magna Carta, I love. I have Magna Carta on the Xbox 360 and loved every bit of it. And that's why I was saying like, this art style looks kind of familiar and Korean art style does look a bit different from Japanese art style. So I was able to pick that up. I, it had that Matt Carter type of art style to it. So that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I'm, I'm definitely all for this game. Definitely looking forward to it. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Are you looking forward to Stellar Blade? And what are your thoughts on it only being a PlayStation 5 exclusive? And are we here? Are we definitely now seeing the fruits of what next gen gaming could possibly be definitely want to hear your thoughts if you like the video hit that like button because it definitely helps me in the algorithm don't forget to hit the bell to be notified for more gaming news and um i'll be seeing you game fiends later peace out